Hi, it's Elder, and in this video we will take a look at simple video editing in LumaFusion on iPad versus the Final Cut Pro 10 on MacBook. So before we start, let me share with you a couple of important details about this video. I'm not a professional video editor by any means, so when it comes to editing, I only do simple editing for maybe a YouTube video or some simple video tutorial. And if you are a professional video editor, you already know that a full featured desktop application like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere or like DaVinci Resolve will always offer you more professional features than any video editing application on iPad. You might ask me why I'm using the LumaFusion and Final Cut Pro for this video instead of something like iMovie, which is the great application for simple video editing, which is available on both Mac and iOS. The biggest reason is because iMovie is still too limited, even for somebody like me who doesn't need a lot of features. But time to time I like to do some color grading, some color correction, or even apply the LUT, which is basically the filter for video, and iMovie doesn't allow me to do that. In my opinion, LumaFusion is the best video editing app on iOS and iPadOS, while the Final Cut Pro is the best video editing application on macOS. And I have been using both of them for years, and I have edited over a hundred videos using each of these platforms, each of these applications, so I can say that my level of expertise is the same for both applications. So I'm going to use the latest versions of both LumaFusion and Final Cut Pro. As for hardware for LumaFusion, I'm going to use the most powerful iPad on the market, which is the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. And for the Final Cut Pro, I'm going to use the most powerful laptop on the market, which is the 16-inch MacBook Pro with 8-core i9 CPU and external graphics with 4 gigabytes of video RAM. And finally, I'm not going to use any accessories apart from Pencil for iPad Pro, and I won't be using any external keyboards or mouses, so it is just the iPad with Apple Pencil and MacBook with its trackpad. So before I begin, let me tell you what and how I'm going to edit. Well, I'm going to edit the same exact video you're watching right now, and it will be a 4K footage from Canon M50, one of the most popular budget cameras, especially here on YouTube and I will add the background music, I will make some simple cuts, I will make some uh, transitions, maybe simple transitions, I will add a couple of images and some b-roll shots of either the iPad or MacBook. And finally I will add uh, maybe some color correction and I will apply the LUT to this video. I will try to make the edits as similar as possible, and after I've done all of the editing, I will share with you how much time it took me to edit this video, how much time it take me to export it, and then I will compare the overall experience of using both of these applications. So I'm ready to start editing and I will share with you the results and my findings in a couple of moments. To make sure that it is as fair as possible, I watched all of the videos before importing them into applications. And while editing, I wasn't trying to edit as fast as I can, I was just editing with my normal pace as I would usually do using both of these apps.
In both applications it took me about one hour to complete editing the video. So as you can probably tell this is the next day and I have edited and exported both files on LumaFusion and Final Cut Pro and I'm going to share the results with you. So the file was about 4 minutes, the video was about 4 minutes and LumaFusion was able to export this file in 2 minutes 21 seconds while Final Cut Pro took 9 minutes 47 seconds. So it is almost 4 times. And I knew that LumaFusion was fast, but this was a surprise to me. The next finding is probably more personal to me and you can feel different about it, but I have actually enjoyed the editing on iPad more than on MacBook. Even, even though I know that I, I felt that I can make more precise cuts and edits on MacBook using the trackpad. I liked, I like the experience of like touching the video files and moving everything with my fingers or Apple Pencil. It feels so personal and I guess I prefer it. And of course Final Cut Pro leaves a huge room for improvement, especially for somebody like me, because if I ever want to, if I ever will decide to go deeper into video editing and start to learn some advanced features and some techniques, I'm sure that Final Cut Pro will provide more value for me. And this was my comparison of editing a simple video on iPad with LumaFusion and on MacBook with Final Cut Pro. So if you have any questions or need help, please let me know and I will talk to you in the next video.